but you were up really early for us, yeah. tracking the radar, seeing what's up, because it kind of feels a little bit like maybe a month ago? That, that, yeah, it doesn't feel like spring break. Uh, <laughs> it really does, and temperatures are going to be on the cool side. We talked about that cha a slight chance for a few sprinkles, but again, it's not going to amount to a whole lot out there as far as the array is concerned. We're showing your radar. Had a few showers, uh, very light uh, activity out to our west right now. That is dissipated. Might see a couple of more sprinkles make it into the far western parts of North Texas, but it's, this is about all we're going to see as far as the rain is concerned, what you're seeing out there right now. So even what was showing up on radar, a lot of that was evaporating actually before hitting the ground. Temperatures, yes, it's cool taking you out to the UNT campus now 48 degrees and you can see those high mid-level clouds have thickened up there just a little bit and as we head back over to Cedar Hill those northeast winds they're a little gusty up to 20 miles per hour only 51 degrees there right now a little sunshine kind of breaking through there you see that on Joe Pool Lake here early this morning or late this morning I should say getting into the early afternoon upper 40s though heading over to Plano at 49 right now 51 heading out to Wiley those low 50s there for Terrell and coming back over to Benbrook out toward Rome Decatur at 46. So it's certainly cool late this morning. It's going to stay that way this afternoon. That normal high 68. We're not going to be getting out of the 50s. There will be some 60s, I think, in our southern counties, but only in the lower 60s. So everyone below normal here. So yes, it is a cool start to spring break week here across the North Texas, and those temperatures do warm up only slightly later in the week. Now we'll have lots of high mid-level clouds around here for today. Rain chance is going to be pretty slim for us as we even as we head into tomorrow. You see a few showers down into South Texas, but some better rain chance do arrive later in the week. So here's what it looks like as we head into tomorrow. There will be some light rain around only about a 20, maybe 30% coverage and the rain will be light on Tuesday. That disturbance quickly moves on out. Then we'll have our best chance for the widespread showers and thunderstorms arriving on Thursday. Now a few showers early in the day. This is around noon time, but then as that front moves in late in the day, widespread rain and thunderstorms develop along that front as we'll be keeping an eye on these. So some of these do have the potential to be strong, maybe severe out there right now, and that uh, system moves out pretty quickly, so maybe a few leftovers in our southeastern counties early on Friday, and then we will clear out and some very chilly air spills in in, in time for a St. Patrick's Day. Now, Storm Prediction Center is already highlighting a large part of North Texas, almost all of North Texas, for that slight risk for some strong and severe thunderstorms on Thursday, but still some uncertainty on that severe weather threat, so just keep, it, uh, keep checking back as we'll be making updates to the forecast between now and then. And you can see the rain chance is only about a 20% coverage on Tuesday. Widespread rain and thunderstorms as we get into Thursday and Thursday night, but ending on Friday. Now the temperatures, yes, they will be kind of up and down and warming slightly as we get into Wednesday, Thursday back into the lower 70s out ahead of that cold front that moves through, but some very chilly air moves in behind it. Look at those daytime highs well below normal as we get into Friday, only in the lower 50s. Those overnight lows will be dipping down into the mid and upper 30s as we head into next weekend. So yes, it will be very chilly on St. Patrick's Day, but again, all the rain should be gone and that will be behind us. And as we get into Saturday morning, some parts of North Texas may even be looking at some freezing temperatures around, so we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. And temperatures right through Sunday, even on the first day of spring, maybe not getting out of the 50s early next week.